right, so we're checking out the only game where you can eat cheeseburgers, snort cocaine, and not do the dishes until you die. It's The Sims 4. Bab Ross's fro cannot protect her from heart disease. All right, now for the bedroom over here. Uh, it's not too bad. It feels like someone may be waiting underneath the bed to stab you in the side and remove your organs so that they can sell it on the black market. But is there a better color scheme? Ah. Anything that could potentially enrich lives is replaced with drugs and candy. Everyone gets a nice computer from 1979 and a desk chair that will probably give you splinters in your ball sack. Give everyone over here a nice dining table made out of melted down adult toys. And over here, they get a dining table made of distilled judgment. What are you, um... What are you doing there, LSD? I see you looking real close at some of those bills on the table. LSD's like, you know who draws straight lines? Me! LSD is now feeling a confident plus 10 from Pico <laughs> Coming over here to join her, Colino. Colino's like, I'm gonna do one in each nostril. Florida man's like, what do I do? Do I use the bathroom or do I use a bunch of illegal drugs? Illegal drugs it is. <laughs> Look at the eyes. <laughs> Someone would be like, how do you feel, Florida man? And he'd be like, I feel great. Yeah, sure. Why not have a double? <laughs> did, did, sh did she just fart? on his dying body. <laughs> this house is amazing. <laughs> Spleens came over to the drug house. She's in here and she's like, this place smells delicious. Spleens is looking at all the drug abusers in this house. And she's like, it is really sad when I have the best teeth here. She has a bad reputation. Attacking her invisible demons. She's gigantic pain in the ass. Being evil psychopath. Oh God, murder Lord McGee is one of the jealous types. I have given these people everything that they need to be successful viral video creators. They have this beautiful mansion. They have a cat that is addicted to cocaine. Florida man's like, no, my left nipple doesn't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Strap in, baby. Spleens is hungry. Oh, we can't have that. Spleens is over here. She's like, listen, normally I subsist on y'all's tears. But since no one's crying, I'm starving. Pour out the kitten chow. What the hell is that on the forum over here? Is that like a picture of bootleg spleens? Stop complaining, just talk to this plant. You charismatic bastard. He's like, you know how I got all this charisma? By trading in one third of my head length. And as you can see, one half of spleens is like, what do I see over there? Well, past Florida man's overpowering bath towel and well manicured legs. I'm sure tonsils is like, does this mean no laser beam litter box? That's right, tonsils. No laser beam litter box. And he's like, fuck. I was looking for uh, a way for the Sims to get food. And one of the options here is this very fine dumpster. This is the, the best of the best. This dumpster completed seven years of medical school. You know, dumpsters get a bad rep, don't they? They're vile and smelly, and yeah, sometimes they're covered in a revolting mystery crust that makes you want to forget that they ever happened. Nestled below the dank funk of this repugnant vessel is a rare ingredient for the new favorite dish. Which brings me to a very pressing question I have. Colino, where did you get the meat for that hot dog? Bab Ross is over here. She's like, I would like a balanced diet with vegetables and fruits. Something colorful and wholesome. Fruit Loops have fruit in them, don't they? <laughs> Spleens is running away. No, my God. I think that this is actually a new record for Spleens' eye distance. She's like, don't try and stop me. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. What the hell is going on inside of the shark pool? Are they like battling each other in Mortal Kombat or something? I didn't know that the little pool thing over here. What the f- I, I don't know what just happened. I, I think that Australian man just was in there for something to do. I think he was bored. He's like, ah, you know, some people play video games over in Australia. We fight sharks to the death. On the plus side, Spleens is back. She's like, you know what? Maybe I don't want to miss any of this. Whitley is doing the laundry over here while slowly starving to death. Spleen's just straight up went unconscious in the background. Another day of eating Fruit Loops, eating more cereal. You know you guys have a lot more hours to potentially even try to get to a thousand hours, right? Spleen's is like a thousand hours. You better take a zero off of that. So I learned how the Sims can get hot dogs. Um, this hot dog is actually made out of the bugs. I came over here to see why Florida man was crying. It says he's actually watering the plants with his tears. That's as ecological friendly as you can possibly get. Well done, Florida man. Oh, tonsils is back. He's like, hey guys, I brought you guys a package and hepatitis. One of the things that you could grow in the garden is catnip and spleens is like, I love this shit. I'm not, I'm not sure how this happened. 
but Colono died and now his ghost is drowning in the water. What the hell is happening in this game? Oh, and also a vampire came to visit us, but because our house is outside, he burned to death. <laughs> Spleens is getting taken away by a pet care worker, but why? This dude has come to take away tonsils and even he looks depressed. He's like, God, I feel sorry for these people. Australian man, every time you taunt the sharks like that, it worries me. <gasps> Who is this guy? <laughs> He's an eco master. Even he's in here. He's like, what have you done with nature, you bastards? So I've been torturing my Sims a lot lately and I haven't tortured myself. And this has to be a give and take relationship. So I decided I would build the longest hedge maze that you can possibly build in the Sims 4. And then I would determine if any of the Sims have the power of will to actually make it all the way to the end. Or if they'll simply stand around, urinate themselves, and die in a puddle of their own bodily fluids. Spleens is over here. She's like, you know the answer to that. That level of torture is kind of like the secret sauce. Oh yeah. Things are, uh, things are starting to work perfectly. Good. Tim Horton, he's down here. He's like, hey, Gray, buddy, what are you doing? Behold. Oh, Christ. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> you can put the toilet so that it's just levitating straight out of the hedge maze. All right, just need a nice outdoor table over here. A couple of huge bricks of cocaine. Nice bed that's like halfway in the hedges so it can fondle you while you sleep. All right, so if they want to sleep, they need to sleep in this bed that looks like it was made for an 11-year-old girl. Some cocaine and a full of bar. All right, boys and girls, prepare your anuses. I really love that Whitley is like trying to hide. <laughs> She's like, if Gray doesn't see me, maybe that means he can't kill me. All right, Tonsils is napping and Spleens is awake. <laughs> She's over here. She's like, I wouldn't want to miss the lights going out of their eyes. I love watching their little heads bobble around. I didn't, I didn't make the cats immortal, but I mean, I guess somehow they're still alive. <laughs> Tonsils is like, due to his poor eyesight, he's like, Spleens is still alive? I love how Spleens just lays here like this. She doesn't she doesn't like sleep really with her eyes closed. She just rests with them open, staring, waiting, desiring sweet cocaine. In case you're wondering, there's a setting here called Extreme Woohoo. When enabled, Sims will woohoo more often. You're goddamn right they will. Oh my God, they've created an actual skill for woohooing. I love that it goes up the more you use it. Practice makes perfect. Allow polygamy. Yes. No strings. <laughs> use privacy? When enabled, Sims will shoo other Sims away. Disabled. Unfortunately for Spleens the cat, there is no extreme woohooing options for her. I feel like she would be like, I don't need extreme options. My default setting is always on. Tonsils has options, he just can't find them. He's like, it's crazy, I can only see one half of the options. The other half is blocked by something. All right, we got it all. A distinct lack of privacy, full liquor bars, tons of places to have unprotected woohoo. Oh, never mind. It wasn't that they didn't want to woohoo. It's just that they didn't know how. LSD is over here looking it up on her computer. This feels like an instance where you click on the first link after typing in like how to woohoo and you're like, ah, what have I done? How you doing there, Spleens? Spleens is like loving humans is hard, but eating their plants is easy. As is licking her groin. She's like, don't look at me. It's embarrassing. This is a fantastic pose. This is what I should have put on the merchandise. The only thing I feel is arthritis in my weenus. What the hell are you doing? He's like, I'm trying to burn the goddamn house down. What does it look like? Don't you dare. What? Are you salting the fire? He's not cooking anything. Meanwhile, Tonsils is like, there's plenty of salty sim water on the ground to drink. Oh my god, I can't get rid of the bodies quick enough. <laughs> Stop. I love how these two Sims are just like chilling out in front of the hot tub. They're like, should we do it? Everyone that's gone in here has died. Well, they're sleeping together, technically. <laughs> these two did everything together. They will hooed together and then they died together. And like 30 more people just instantaneously died. Oh no. Oh, Australian man, don't you be crying. You know you did this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a woohoo session preparing? between Florida Man and LSD? It sure is. Someone get on the goddamn boom camera. That's right, yeah, get a, get a close up of this. Perfect, <laughs> just like that. Oh, they're not the only ones. Look at this is happening over here. It's double woohooing. This lady's over here. She's like, God, I hope I have enough film. Florida Man, you did this. You killed LSD. 
How could you? He's like, I still remember when that hoe cheated on me. Vengeance is mine. Look at this, tonsils. You got food all around you. What else do you need? He's like, oh, I don't know, to not have rabies. I just want to take a moment to mention that the person that Australian man was just with is dead now. Spleens discovered the fire. Really? Of all people, it's Spleens. Oh, God. We've got like the last 10 or so Sims left. And that dude legitimately just fell right into his breakfast. I also appreciate that Tonsils is still foaming at the mouth. I just noticed. There's a random ghost chilling out in the house. Turnip has defeated a wild squirrel in paw-to-paw -paw combat. Oh, the cats are so sad. Tonsils is like, no! I guess I'll leave you with this lovely sad pair voicing their distress at the entirety of what they just saw this week. Going completely insane is what we do here. And thankfully, there's a sponsor that's totally okay with that. And it's Raycon Earbuds. I will give every single sim in this entire house the addiction to every substance known to mankind. I wasn't really sure what the hell I was going to do with this island with a piano on it. But this is going to be the drug buffet area. I will continue to add more and more sims. And eventually, I would like to find out who is able to actually live the longest from non-stop partying. Now you may be saying to yourself, but Gray, what sort of drugs are there? I just want to give you some scale. This is not a pillow. I love this high quality, low quality. I think we know what, what can work just fine for this crew. Throw down a few of these. These are, um, vitamin supplements. It's vitamin MDMA. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Florida man is addicted to alcohol. You don't say. All right, go over here. Make literally every single person in the entire neighborhood a dealer, and we're ready to roll. And remember, if you're ever looking at the best way to wash down all of your vitamins, you can just head over to the Fulica Bar. I can only imagine how screwed up everyone is right now. They're looking at the TV, and they're like, oh, this painting is moving. Florida man's over here. He's searching, like, how not to get raided by the DEA. Step one would probably be not to have a hundred pounds of blow cane sitting in the middle of your pool. Spleens is over here. She's like, I smell something. It smells like felonies. Also, I do have to mention Florida man now needs purple drank. Well, hello there, Ella. How are you feeling? She's like, good. How about now? Like I'm addicted to amphetamine. This guy is 100% dressed for the occasion. I love how he's wearing his girlfriend's jeans. Turnip, much like a shark, has over 500 teeth inside of his mouth. Ah, someone's finally doing a deal out the front yard. <laughs> this girl's like, if I keep my eyes closed, technically the police can't ask me if I saw anything. Oh my God. Is it just me? Or has Florida man lost a ton of weight? My God, what is happening to these Sims? As more of the bricks disappear, more of the Sims go from being thick to this. This is Whitley. She's lost like 40 pounds. Turnip is being taken away by a pet care person. What the hell? He's fine. He's watching TV. Look, we have a good relationship with him. This isn't even his urine. It's a Sims urine. Turnip is running away. That is, that is a lie. Turnip is not running away. I love that people just do laps around the house all the time. <laughs> Sir, can I, can I ask you and your mustache, um, uh, what you're planning on doing by my table over here? Oh, sweet Jesus. That was like the 30 foot snort. Suddenly this table is becoming the hot spot of the entire house. Oh, Jesus. I can't, I can't actually even do anything. Everyone's just insta-dying. There's blood and death and ass everywhere. <laughs> Vengeful deity. I think I probably got that about 10 seconds ago. My God, look at all the death. Now, all of my people, this is why you shouldn't do drugs. This lady, I, like I've never seen anyone luckier in my entire life. The fact that she fell asleep in front of the table is probably the only thing that is keeping her alive. Notification wall full, yeah, I bet. <laughs> No, Florida man just drowned, son of a bitch. Okay, Australian man is still alive, mostly because he's asleep right now. What is wrong with you people? Stop jumping into the pool. All it is is a maelstrom of death and cancer. Okay, so I have to mention something real quick. These people that I haven't managed to get addicted to everything yet, um, they're in here, okay, with all the dead bodies. And this guy is inspired because of the decor. <laughs> like, man, there's nothing quite like a couple of dozen bodies to get the old creative juices flowing. I have never seen water chaos to this extent in my whole life. We just lost Bab Ross. 
Spleens? Spleens, why? Why are you glowing, Spleens? Spleens is over here. She's like, well, I had a stuffed up nose, so, um... Yeah, you, you, you get the rest. Australian man is drowning the death. The pool right now is just a wash of broken bodies floating about everywhere you go. There are bodies. See, right now we have uh, synchronized swimming, but pretty soon it's gonna be synchronized dying. Why is everyone vanishing? What the hell is going on? That's right, kids. You do drugs, you're gonna friggin' evaporate. Okay, now more of Spleens is starting to glow. She's over here, she's like, you ever heard of Bruce Leroy? I've got the glow. This is the death that never ends. Okay, so far they've gone through about 150 pounds of delicious Spleens flour. See this? This is how awful drugs are. This guy died after he was already dead. The party still continues though. Okay, real quick. Someone seriously put their dirty dishes on top of the pill bottle. This guy just did lines off of the piano. No, spleens. She's being w taken away by a pet care worker. But why? Why would you? Why would you take this animal away? This house is a perfect place of responsibility. Spleens is still radioactive, and thus we will find out who will truly survive. That's a twofer right there. This girl has overdosed. <laughs> Lauren is suffering the consequences. <laughs> What? The victor of our last instance, the man formerly known as the friendship bracelet wearing sunglasses, toting slick back hair, large bearded six pack Evan Thorne has been renamed to someone I can actually remember. His name is now Kyle. Listen, I tried to think of a dude that like snorts protein shakes for breakfast and the name Kyle just seemed to work. I also like how no matter what, Kyle is the first person to take his shirt off in every single instance of his existence. It's like he's allergic to clothing. You may say to yourself, but Florida man never wears a shirt. It's not that he takes his shirt off, it's that there's no shirt that can deal with him. You may also notice that Spleens is looking at something very intently. <laughs> when one of her eyes tries to leave her skull, that means it's something important happening. And so if you were ever mentally unstable enough to want this being on a piece of clothing, there is now Spleens merchandise which you will find in the YouTube shelf below. I'm gonna try and have plushies coming soon, Spleens. It's like, Jesus Christ. No, Spleens, you don't get a cut of the profits. You just get to watch more of your friends die. She's probably still like, ah, fair trade. I like how Spleens is so sad. She's like, I'm supposed to be the only woman everyone loves. That's right, everyone. Yeah, come on into the motel. It's a beautiful place to get tons of pregnancies going on. There's a nice pool and some outdoor lighting, and as I like to call them now, sex tubs. There's even a nice playground right next to a full liquor bar. All right, you have until 9 a.m. on Wednesday to have as much woohoo as possible, so get to it. I love how there's this weird refrigerator advertisement in the background. This rabbit is like, you could fit an entire body in our refrigerators. Look at this. Florida man is already getting intimate with one of the other Sims. She could also be a cannibal trying to eat his face. God, I miss my llama. I always try and think about what spleens could possibly be dreaming of. She's probably getting raided by the DEA. She's like, no officer, it's not mine. Consoles is over here in the bathroom. He doesn't actually need to use it. He's just hungry for Drano. Oh, hey, Autumn is a cat lover. This means that she may live. Spleens is like, that's a wise choice, Autumn. Oh no! This is possibly the greatest pairing in the history of Sims. Mrs. T is woohooing Florida Man, it's fantastic! Hopefully it's not mediocre. This girl came in and slapped him mid woohoo. Meanwhile, Florida Man is having people line up to slap the sh out of him. Hi, Death. Um, did someone die and I, I didn't know about it or are you just chilling out? Oh, nope, someone's totally drowning. It's always only a matter of time before people start drowning in the pool. <laughs> hey, two for one over here. Never mind, three for one. Holy God, this pool is a place of death and horror. Everyone get the hell out. Tiara, Jesus, run. It's worse than Jaws. I like how the Grim Reaper teleports in only to see that it's a Grey Still Plays episode and then he gets the fuck nope. out. I love how Spleens is over here and she's like, this isn't actually a salt water pool. It just tastes salty because of all of the tears. I need to show y'all something. So Spleens is over here and uh, she's asleep. Or is she? Uh, Tonsils has left the girls a nice fresh cat leaving. Very romantic. Also, I just realized something. I thought that Evan 
was sleeping like an idiot um, because I hadn't ever seen his death pop up, but I think it's just because we've screwed the game over so much at this point. He's just been up here dead the whole time. <laughs> I love how Tonsils is over here and he's like, hey, Spleens, you having a good time? And Spleens is like, hell yes. Uh, it's good to see that while Australian man and Florida man are taking it easy, both Spleens and Tonsils are working extra hard. Spleens is like, that 30 minutes of sleep was good enough to last me for the next 12 years. There is a lot of urine in this room. We've got some chain deaths going on now. That's lovely. Are you two gonna fall at... Wow, simultaneous death. You don't see that too often. Okay, real quick. This happened shortly after all the death. It looks like Australian man took this opportunity to have some fun times with a girl that smells like rotting sewage. Um, do you ever wonder what it looks like when Sims are woohooing inside of the hot tub? I guess for whatever reason, the texture didn't light up and uh, I'm not really sure what sort of weird yoga is happening here. Now, every room in the Love Hotel is obviously complete with a beautiful bed, a whirlpool bath, a full liquor bar, and this dragon who will creepily watch you with a sideways glance as you have naughty sim fun times. Okay, we have our 50 potential sim suitors here in this giant mass of sim flesh. Some of them are way creepier than others. Homicidal Mr. Clean sims with mustaches so powerful it looks like you could hang your goddamn jacket from them. This sim over here is already crying and we haven't even started the challenge yet. We have an intellectual over here. He's reading Orbital Pudding, a mountain-sized glob of coconut Nut pudding is lobbed into orbit to study its potential for sustaining life on other planets. What the fuck? A bunch of people are getting super pissed off. Oh God, Murder Lord McGee is one of the jealous types. LSD, after annoying basically everyone in the entire house, is now sitting down with a good book. The book, The Lord of the Swings. The playground has grown dangerous now that the school bully is back. Everyone is vying for the one swing, a swing that swings higher and faster than all others. Can Eduardo and his friends destroy the one swing before Byron the bully gets his grubby hands on it? I love that the thing that's closest to Ellis right now is spleens. I'm really glad that sneering mustache guy finally figured out what's most important in this world, tending the full liquor bar. I love how Ellis is over here and she's like, I use urinals too. Figure I'd just take a moment to give you all a horrifying spleen's image. Look at that smile that reaches from ear to ear. Look at how every once in a while he appears completely insane. Here's our boy, Captain Murder. Even in his swim trunks, still looking murdery. I'm guessing LSD was woohooing herself. What in the holy hell is this? Captain Picard came out of nowhere and just kissed LSD. Man, he's got the red shirt on and everything. And that's it, he just... He just did that and he walked his ass out. LSD doesn't even know what to say. She's like, ah. Even Spleens is out here by the pool. She looks extra crazy. She's like, yeah, I replaced all the chlorine with cocaine. I just want to mention something. This guy right over here is named Ricky Stone and he has the most 70s porn star look I've ever seen in my entire life. Australian man is over here telling LSD a fantastic story about the one time he got arrested for fist fighting poisonous frogs. Hey, can you keep the swimming out of the grass, please? This dude's over here looking at you know, like the Encyclopedia Britannica is like, what is this creature before me? Meanwhile, Tonsils is like, I love transmission fluid. In case y'all didn't know, Spleens is a lazy cat. Can you tell? She doesn't look lazy. She just looks like she's been hitting the JD for the last 12 hours. Stripper masters of the universe. When I put this down here, do you know who was the very first sim into the bar area? It was Spleens. <laughs> she's like, alcoholism, hell yes. Spleens came in here. She started looking through the different rooms. She's like, what do I spy with my little eye? Is that a full liquor bar? <laughs> it is Spleens. Now everyone knows that while human beings are mostly water, Florida men are mostly alcohol. So my money is on Florida man to win this. First thing I have to do is make sure everyone has the alcoholic trait. I'm not gonna lie, the focused poise of a focused Florida man is hilarious. Is that stripper stage made out of rosewood? I see Spleens has found the most comfortable area in the entire nightclub. My God, it's so comfortable, it's fixed her eyes. Oh, wait, never mind, I was wrong. I told you, look at this. The very first person that decided to make a drink is Florida man, pouring himself a nice Bud Light. Hey, does that fruitcake have any brandy in it? 
No, get the hell out. Samuel's over here. He's like, I always wanted to be an alcoholic when I grew up. Go, my children. Go forth and have unprotected sex. Just, yikes. This is amazing, LSD's making this drink and Spleen is down there like, we getting the party started. Florida man is like, you know what this cereal is missing? Vodka. Wow, he died so bad, his ghost even died. Oh, hell yeah, Spleen's is back, y'all. And she's vomiting up a present for everyone. <laughs> Have fun, everyone. Go head in. Don't trip on the urine. Soaked with urine. This dude's over here just showering in all of his clothes. <laughs> Spleens, did you just urinate on that corpse? The area near the bar is, um, it's getting kind of soggy. But this is interesting. We've got a perfect semicircle of urine now. This may be like eight puddles of urine over here at this point. I don't even know anymore. Wow, she got them all. Y'all know you're not gonna wash away all the urine with your tears, right? <laughs> Sir, what the hell are you wearing? You've heard of a duplex. This is a death plex. Actually, maybe I'll make it a meth plex. Ah, perfect. Tell me, Spleens, do you like what I've done with the place? She's like, yes, I love it almost as much as I love cocaine. Both Spleens and Tonsils have realized that they've been locked out since all the Sims have been locked in. And thus, they must fight for dominance to see who is the superior being. Wow, that was the... That was the worst battle I have ever seen in my entire life. I think that the problem is because Spleens' eyes turn outward and Tonsils' eyes turn inward, they both couldn't see one another, so they thought the other one left. Tonsils is like, I won! You gonna... You gonna finish cooking that French toast there? We just... We just leaving that on the stove? Australia man, it's gonna catch on fire, dude. Australia man, pick up the toast, man. Stop hitting on Whitley and finish cooking the goddamn toast. The bees! Not the bees! Although I will say, the elder side definitely has more urine than the young folks side. I haven't thought about it, but is there any Viagra in this game? How the hell did you get over on the elder side? Man, there is urine all over the dining room. It's like a friggin' swimming pool over here. Spleens is like, you know, it's a sad day when I can't see anything directly in front of me because my eyes are canted at 270 degrees and I can use the bathroom correctly. <laughs> Spleens look so crazy over here. She's like, old people are like a fine wine. You gotta age them and they're delicious. The elders are much more flammable than the young folks. So someone did figure out how to use the toilet. There is just a metric ton of urine surrounding it. Well, Australia man, you lasted a good long time. And in the end, no one can say that you're not a badass considering you're just walking around on fire. And... Oh, he's gonna try and put himself out in the urine puddle. That was a good try. Florida man, you put that cutting board down. Luckily though, the urine broke his fall. Spleens is over here sleeping in urine. That's pretty normal, I guess. Put a little door on it that makes you think you're not going to get skinned alive. Can you make Sims pole dance? Whatever, here's a pole, maybe they'll dance on it. Don't ask what is happening, just enjoy. As Florida and Australian man have a little dance party on the lowest floor of hell together. Okay, Australian man, you're, you're, you're getting out of hand there. Spleens, you fool! You should have stayed topside. Sir, your mustache is looking very erect today. I just heard the sound of urine spraying out of someone. Don't you die on top of my cat. Spleens is running away, no Spleens. Don't you run from this. There's still, there, there'll be more comedy shows, I swear to God. Okay, now if you land with your head on the clothes pile, it won't hurt as much when you die. And nice. Hey, Tonsils, what do you think about your new friend, Hamos? He's probably like, my favorite food is lawn fertilizer. Tonsils, buddy, what, what are you doing, man? Hamos is down there. That's right, you mushroom-headed bastard. This is Spleens after she got done huffing 30 pounds of catnip. She's like, ah, I don't think I'm gonna go into work today. There it is. She's chilling out in the bathtub over here right next to the rectal porridge that has been laid down inside of this toilet. This lady is part of the anti-spleens movement. I hope you die next. I think the thing I love about this whole scene the most is how spleens is sleeping right next to the dead body with her eyes open. 
As Florida Man fondles two people at once, hence breaking his previous record. Obviously no dance floor is complete without a full lick of bar. Spleens has trouble seeing anything directly in front of her because of the directions her eyes face. I think that she thought that this shoe over here was one of her children. Poor tonsils, he's over here. He's like, ant killer tastes good. I just decided to click on Weird Al Yankovic over here. He's over on the, uh, on the treadmill. This dude is blasted out of his mind. All around me are familiar faces. Except for that lady. How the hell did Betty White get into my YouTubes? You know, it's an episode of The Sims when angry Betty White is on TV teaching you how to make a salad while this guy's mustache continues to do lines of cocaine. You can tell this is the type of guy, he's like, joke's on you. This is somebody else's mustache I'm wearing. So, um, what the hell? It's Renee Zellweger in her underwear. All right, everyone, start picking a place. You two, Brestarella, get in there. I've mentioned before that um, there's times where Sims overlap on top of one another, and it is horrifying. This is one of those times where it is horrifying. <laughs> this dude looks like he missed where he was supposed to put his pasties or something. Oh, Spleen's decided to come in here too. Spleen's is over here. She's like, look at all this meat that got the heat. Spleen's is like, this is metal as hell, yay! And from this meatball shaped gigantic testicle hair fluff thing. And Florida man's already over here on Tinder. He's like, well, I give the cleavage an A+. I refuse to use it. That toilet called me a whore. Spleen's hasn't eaten in like three days, but it's okay. She lives on a steady diet of methamphetamine. There is just puddles of urine everywhere. Some people stand in puddles of urine. Some people sleep in puddles of urine. It's probably a peanut butter and Bud Light sandwich. Florida man's just on his computer over here. Or is he? He's gone so crazy. He's just looking at a black screen at this point. He's like, yeah, this screen is empty. Just like my future. That's right. Instead of a toilet, every bathroom is going to have something that's a thousand times better. It's a full liquor bar. I'm going to let them keep the toilet paper rolls though. Hold on. How about this? How about this? If you Sims can figure out how to use the cat litter box, <laughs> you can use it. Oh, hell yeah. It's dance battle time up in here. Florida man just got the dance skill. How? Where the hell is he? The dance floor is way the hell over here. He's like chilling out in the courtyard. Oh, never mind. A bunch of people are dancing in the courtyard. What is going on? Oh, no. Look at these moves. Hillary Clinton decided to show up. Okay. Are you ready for the most cursed image of your entire Sims life? What the hell has happened here? Poor Spleens is like, I've never been the same after the accident. What is this? What? What? What are you afraid of? Is it the TV? Is it all the bars? Oh, never mind. Her eyes are back in different directions. She's fine. She's just having a little bit of a seizure. I just realized that this was a person inside of another person, but it looked like this dude had a dyed green beard with red hair, and it was awesome. Spleens is over here. She's like, I can guard both staircases at once because her field of vision is like 270 degrees. Whoa, how's it going there, Ned Flanders? How did you sneak your, your way into a Sims episode? You ever wonder what happens when like 30 people congeal into one entity? I think the scariest thing about the dining area over here is that you can literally swim from the bar to the refrigerator because of how deep the urine puddles are. Okay, I thought sleeping in the puddle of urine was bad. This lady's actually sleeping in another lady's dead body. Tonsils is over here living off the scraps of the dead where all these muffins are slowly mutating. She is now re legitimately covered in a pile of corpses. Ah, Florida man's brother is making a beautiful painting of Spleens' ass. Spleens is over here like, I hope he's painting my good side. I think the best part about being LSD is that if she wins and she's the only Sim left, it's fine because she can talk to herself for eternity. See, the great thing about being crazy is you always have at least one friend to talk to. That is gorgeous. You just need to put Spleens' eyes a little bit farther apart. You know what would make things slightly better for the Proctors? A full lick of bar. A couple outdoor bathrooms just in case. Spleens is busy trying to clean up all the urine with her fur. Now you're gonna burn alive, Australian man. Oh, never mind. You've been saved. Never mind. She's putting out the fire in the oven. Not the fire that's on Australia. <laughs> hey, Claire Danes. Ever had anyone paint a picture of your sleeping form? For some reason, when I saw Spleens here looking for food, 
I picture Batman's voice when he's asking the Joker where Rachel and Harvey Dent are. It's like, Spleens, why don't you get something to eat? And she's like, where is it? Okay, ready for this mind screw? So now Claire Danes can sleep in her bed beneath the picture of her sleeping in her bed. I like how she's chilling out, having something to eat in the pool while his dead carcass is floating right in front of her feet. She totally doesn't realize. She's over here having like some strawberry ice cream or something while Florida man's dead body slowly undulates in the pool. <laughs> She's like, man, this pool is so warm today. That's because it's heated by the blood of the innocent. All right, first things first, we need to make our house an appropriate death trap. As you can see, I have already lined the very walkway with some pools. You wanna go up the stairs? Enjoy some pools. You wanna eat at the dinner table? Pools. You wanna bake a cake or make some popcorn? You better get ready to go through the goddamn pool. Look at this beautiful living area. I will say though, despite how chicly decorated it is, it's definitely missing something. There we go. This is kind of redundant, but if you wanna take a bath, you have to go through the pool. That's right, you gotta go through the pool to get to the pool. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life anymore. <laughs> Always make sure to save often. Ah, LSD is over here sleeping on this little ottoman just giving her a little surprise when she wakes up tonsils is over here he's like tim horton crazy god crazy he's putting pulls everywhere jesus christ wake up spleens is just over here she wanted to let y'all know that uh, drugs are bad <laughs> yeah hello there lsd see you've woken up Mind going for a little swim early in the morning, perhaps? I never knew this, but apparently being a schizophrenic and talking to yourself gives you the ability to walk on water. She's over here, she's like, if I don't believe the water exists, then it doesn't. That's how this works, right? Florida man is over here making my job easy. That's right, Florida man. All you have to do is swim for three feet in order to get anywhere in the whole house. He's like, I'm from Florida, this is child's play. Also, I just realized that as you sleep in this bed, like 12 different people are creepily staring at your slumbering unconscious body. I mean, there's a couple of cats that are always staring at your slumbering unconscious body as well. You can actually tell how hungry Spleens is by how large her left eye gets. It's a sad day when Florida Man is the smartest sim here because he's in the pool technically, so he's facilitating the challenge but he's on a floaty. So that means he's probably not going to drown to death. I've given my Sims a gigantic house filled with everything they could possibly want. And they love sleeping like homeless people at a train station. She's going to dance herself to death. Okay, this is exactly what you're looking for. When the Sims get exhausted, they try and get some place to sleep, but they don't make it. And so they fall asleep in the pool. You're doing pretty good there, Claire Danes. Yeah lazily floating through the pool not a care in the world what are the chances that you might drown in there one in five maybe one in ten. Oh, maybe one in two actually she didn't drown while she was sleeping she swam all the way over here just to drown she was trying to get somewhere else this girl's dressed like she wants to come trudging into antarctica see this is forward thinking she's like if i dress warm i won't feel the flames as much special guest appearance from young wolverine over here so death just came in looked at the body and left and it's still just chilling out over here with a plate of franken beans looming next to its head your belly shirt can't save you put the goddamn pot on the grill god everywhere i go i have to clean up dead bodies otherwise the game won't function there's so many i'd like to make it known to everyone that tim horton is still alive and is still cooking so as soon as i said that tim horton's grill just caught on fire you'll notice that he's not attempting to run away. He's not screaming in pain or yelling for help. That's because he's been through this plenty of times and he's going to die in the way that he always wanted to, holding a freshly made bowl of franks and beans. I said this belly shirt wouldn't help him and it legitimately didn't, he's on fire now. This girl's like, if I don't look at him, the fire won't spread to me. This girl's like, if I just put my face inside of the boiling food, I can end it now. This is how Florida man and Australian man sleep together, <laughs> it's glorious. God, it's like the symbol for Pisces, except much drunker. That's right, Gilligan, keep cooking. The last person left alive will get a lifetime supply of psychiatric treatment. I love the solemn way 
that people cook now. It's not so much cooking as it is just waiting for inevitable death. Florida man's already trying to run away. He's like, normally I only run for beer, but today I'll make an exception. Oh, hey there, Spleens. How you doing, buddy? I heard you passed your drug test on Monday. Good for you. She's like, yeah, I just had Florida man piss for me. You want to have dinner? You can stand at the table like an animal. There's nothing like having a nice Murphy bed right next to you. Full liquor bar. I'm actually really curious what happens if a sim dies inside of like a cat sized Murphy bed. So I'm going to put a couple of these by the pool. I was thinking about taking away this crib, but honestly, if Florida man can shove his ass in there, I'll, I'll count it. This isn't really a tip jar. See what happens is when someone dies, we take their wallet and we just empty it out into this. That pays for the biohazard team that we need to come in and clean up all the goo. You look like you're in deep thought there, tonsils. He's probably like, I forgot how to stand. Whoa, Tim Horton, you're using the wrong toilet. Yours is over there. I appreciate that every time Tonsil sleeps, he looks like someone hit him with a car. If these Z's weren't here, I would think he was dead. Yep. Nope. Go ahead and go ahead and put it out there, Ellis. Nope. You're just letting it burn. Sticking your ass out isn't gonna fix this. Maybe take out a a fire extinguisher. Maybe maybe. There we go. See, Florida man is so used to this. He's like, it's not a party until the natty light's all gone and someone's on fire. Oh, is this? Hold on. <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you something that's not good. Uh, I didn't always score very high in anatomy, but when your arm is there and your other arm is there, and your back is like somewhere here. I think she may have broken something is what I'm trying to say. It's okay though, maybe she can get out. Yeah, see, she's fine. Uncomfortable, stuck under bed. Ouch, that was super scary. What if you were trapped down there forever? What if a body part had to get sawed off to get free? That's my hope. Spleen's is like, get up, you're going to die. You're gonna die. Florida, take me home. Jesus Christ. LSD just drowned in the pool as well. And Tim Horton has never looked happier. He's like, if I stare up at the blue sky and the clouds, I can forget about all the trauma and death that's occurring all around me. He's like, goodbye, cruel world. Tell Spleens I love her. Spleens is over here all narrow-eyed. She's like, I can feel some pleb talking about me now. So Spleens is over here eating and she's like, man, this tastes vaguely familiar. That's right, Spleens. We didn't let Tim Horton go to waste. Yep. I forgot my pants is just chilling outside here, slowly baking in the sun, the stench of her soon to be rotting body floating through the air. <laughs> All right, everyone's using the Murphy bed. So far, so good. You know what? Hold on. I need to know. Australian man, put this bed down real quick. What the hell would this look like? like... <laughs> what happens when this beats him up? This right here is a thing of beauty. <laughs> At least his bunny slippers are comfortable. <laughs> The bed's like, oh, what the hell? I came over here because I started hearing the bed going nuts and it's trying to smother her, but it's so tiny that she doesn't even fit inside the area. It's uh, looking pretty cloudy outside, huh? Yeah, it's almost like it's overcast. It's not. Are you ready to see something truly horrific? <laughs> I really have no true clue how the hell I was allowed to do this because it said I was completely not allowed to put this there, but it let me put a bed in the middle of nowhere and the bed is the size of a skyscraper. <laughs> now you can really get to see the bed come down shortly before it ends up killing someone. Hey, Tim Horton, I saw you're trying to stay away from my murderous beds. Guess what? I'm bringing the bed to you. See, having a gigantic overcompensating bed allows people to sleep like a Jedi, which is floating slightly above the ground like a boss. I think the best part about the fact that my Sims never wash themselves is they can't tell if the scent in the air is the burning of electrical wires or their unwashed flesh. Well, that lady just got swallowed by the Murphy bed. I'm literally like two seconds into building and Tonsils is already like, what the hell have you done? Uh, this will be the girl side, and this will also be the girl side. The rug's gonna collect all the excess urine anyway. If there's one thing every outdoor sports bar and bathroom needs, it's a full liquor bar. Oh, yeah. This is working out just great. Always make sure to save often. What the hell is this lady looking at? 
She's like, why? What a wonderful gnome you have. What the hell? I'm gonna throw a couple of cameras in here too. <laughs> I can't scroll out too far because if I do, Satan appears. Australian man, you gotta use the bathroom. There's toilets right over there. Past the seizure inducing graphical errors. Even the cats have to go through the queue. <laughs> How dare you? Australian man, I would appreciate it if you didn't hug so closely next to the queue. You're getting bodily fluids all over the velvet. Well, I need to make sure that my dance party works. Oh, sweet Jesus, it does. I needed to put some extra beds in the area, but I couldn't fit any. So this is just for resting like your right leg. And there's your left leg. Oh God, at nighttime, this is just a glorious work of art. Uh? Tommy, sleeping. <laughs> If I put these tiny beds in the middle of the queue, will they be able to sleep there? Tommy's like, they call me the Professor X of the sleeping world. I don't touch the bed when I slumber. All right, Bab, before you die of mortification, I need you to test this out for me. Oh, it totally works. I like how the bed still has the animation, like she's actually underneath the covers. From this perspective, it's not like the bed is very tall. It's like Babs is very big. I'm not gonna lie, her stench cloud uh, with the backlighting of the spotlights kind of looks like the Aurora Borealis. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about the cats. I don't have enough space for you guys. So you guys get the tiny litter box option. How small do these go? Now you can use the restroom alongside of your human slaves. So please don't go to sleep now. You're gonna miss the, oh, oh my, my God. God. What is this face? <laughs> She's like, I can see a Florida man's towel. There happens to be a woman swimming inside of my foundation. Who is this brilliant woman? How have you managed to get around my torture? She's like, well, the first thing that they teach you in Zim school is how to think outside the box. She's gonna swim the whole queue. <laughs> my one rebel is legit still swimming in my foundation. She's gonna die down there. She's gonna run out of stamina eventually. She's like, you don't control me. I decide when I perish. Spleen's the cat has her eyes bulging out of her skull. Not because she has hypertension or anything, just because like, like, instead of having an unusual amount of white blood cells, she has an unusual amount of cocaine blood cells. I like how a bunch of Sims are still outside. They're like, we know what you're trying to do, Gray. We're not going inside that goddamn house. All right, everyone, get the hell inside the goddamn house. I like how as they're all walking up the stairs, Spleens is right at the front door to greet them. She's like, how y'all doing? Doing good, huh? Yeah, that's nice. You're all gonna die here. All right, excellent. It's not even the first day done yet, and someone's hand is already going up Florida Man's towel. Florida Man's like, yeah, it's pretty good. This book is called Love in the Time of Sandwiches. What the hell? I never actually looked to see what these book titles are called. Tiny Tino and Gina are in love, but Gina bends to pressure and marries another. Devastated, Tiny Tino finds solace in a love affair with sandwiches, of all shapes, sizes, and flavors. Many years later, Gina becomes a widow. Can she love Tino again? Especially now when he isn't so tiny. What the hell did I just read? What is... Was that guy vomiting on my cat? Starting to look like a homeless convention in here. Things have started to break at 50 Sims. Ma'am... What are you holding? Or are you just like, are you giving up gang signs? Or what is this? The bodies are starting to pile up at the front door. People are just crying and or urinating all over spleens over here. You can see the never ending stream of tears hitting the ground. I'm curious how high the pile of bodies can get. Trying to get in here just to see what's happening to these Sims is <laughs> so funny. They're all just like walking through one another, crying on top of one another, melding into each other's bodies. Tonsils is still trying to run away. You know that there's a lot of Sims inside of a house when someone's head has fallen through the wall. When you turn the walls on, this looks even better. <laughs> <laughs> like her one finger is coming through the house too. It's probably the middle finger. What, uh, what are y'all doing in here? Everyone's just kind of uh, frozen. I'm surprised everyone's not dehydrated. They've been crying for like 72 hours straight. Spleens is being taken away by the pet care worker. Yeah, good luck trying to get inside the house. They're like, you haven't fed spleens in forever. I'm like, look, there's food everywhere. <laughs> I think it's possible that there's so many bodies in the house right now that the game has just given up the will to live. Oh, never mind. Some of the will just came back. Just in time for someone new to die. <laughs> this, oh, people are turning into ghosts spontaneously. What the hell's happening? That came out of nowhere. Did they die or what? 
this is this the only guy that's left? Was that the one dude that was still at the life? No, that was our winner. He just died of starvation. I mean, I guess I can give the trophies to these cats over here, including Spleens, which has gotten the zombie plague or something. When someone's upper torso has fallen through the paneling of the house, you know that the experiment was a success. Well, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with this imagery right here. The Sims 4 is a game that hates it when you do dumb sh And so that's what we're going to do again today. I'm gonna give these poor bastards a little color in their lives. Oh yeah. That's the glitch worthy sadness I wanted. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting get epilepsy from this. I gotta change this door. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh God. What have I done? <laughs> Spleens is like, God damn it, Gray. It smells like Bud Light and felony arrest records in here. Spleens has actually figured out the way to not get tortured like the rest of the Sims. Just like in the thousand mile long swimming pool, she has a tendency to just completely glitch out. But she may be acting. She may be like, if he thinks I'm dead, I don't have to be a part of this. I like that everyone out here is just chilling alone. They left Florida Man in there, but Tonsils is like, I just want you to know y'all is fuck. Thought I'd uh, bring you all on a tour. Of hell, there's really not much to see. <laughs> it's all you do is just go through doors forever. Oh shit. Bruh. I got turned around and I actually don't know which way is out. <laughs> Hold on. You can't even go up and down. It's just the same thing. I... <laughs> Hold on. There, there we go. Spleens, tonsils, if you two can make it up here, here you go. A little pet food bowl for them too. I mean, who am I kidding? They're never gonna get up here. All right, couple of toilets. And here's a computer, so you can leave me a five-star review on this hotel. Real quick, what the hell? What is going on here? Why does it look like he's about to shank her and take her wallet? See, he thinks he's gonna get away with it, but Spleens is like, I see you. Y'all better recognize. Spleen sees everything. <laughs> How's your bladder doing? Sucks, huh? What the hell? Bladder failure in zero minutes. We are way past zero minutes. I think he's completely phased out of existence. He's gonna starve eventually too. Oh, there it is. He just kicked in. It took like two hours. He just instantaneously changed to filthy. Australian man just disappeared. What the hell? How you doing there, Tommy? Feeling real sad, huh? Yikes. Tonsils has been bitten by a squirrel. That's what you get for not coming into the house, you little bastard. Hey, Spleens, since I know you can't make it up to the top floor for your food, there's something nutritious right there for you. Look at that face. She's like, you sick bastard. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, it's going to be like a mass death right here until they both fell on top of one another. They melded into each other. Well, both Tommy and Beth are dead now. They died in the sweet embrace of one another. <laughs> and Spleen is over here sleeping in the middle of it all. Or is she? <laughs> I like how Florida Man has given up trying to do anything. He's just come outside the house. He's not even like trying to go up the stairs or trying to go to the bed or anything. I appreciate that LSD is giving Spleen's a bath with her tears. Look at the cat, it's just sleeping right under the waterfall of crying. Spleen's just woke up. She's like, what the hell, I'm all wet. Any Grace still plays death build always begins with what I like to call the box of depression. Effectively, anytime a Sim sees a giant white box that blots out the sun, they're typically like, oh, Meanwhile, Spleens is down here. She's like, yeah, I can do this with one eye behind my back. Oh, I actually didn't know where Tonsils was. I thought he had like fused on the into the wall of the house or something like that. But no, he's fine. Well, fine. He still has brain damage, but he's alive. Actually, I just thought about something in an extremely meta moment while I am torturing my Sims to traverse this hellhole. Uh, they're technically torturing me because I'm the one building it. Honestly, I don't even know if the game can handle this much, this much pool. I really have no idea. Oh my God. This entire place is just a freaking nightmare. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's probably an easier way to do this, but honestly, I love the dollar store methamphetamine flea market look. There are so many items in this goddamn house that the game is sitting there like, go ahead, Gray, press the enter button. I dare you. Florida man is having an excellent time with his head 
up of methamphetamine's ass. And we are now at the bottom floor of Satan Spa. Australian man is three-fourths shrimp. I don't even know how this has happened right here. Bethamphetamine is swimming inside of the concrete. Uh, okay. This is exciting. So, if you can see LSD over there, she reached into the refrigerator that's like 300 feet away, pulled out a plate, and now she is levitating on top of the water to eat it. I... I... Sure. Holy shit, I've destroyed this game. I don't think I've ever broken it this bad. You can see Florida Man is now passing up LSD. This is incredible. Well, I say passing. He's basically beating her to death with his giant flub-like hands. So, Florida Man uh, came all the way back to this bush. But uh, it sucks because he just stepped in someone else's sh That's right, push. Push, you beautiful bastard. I'm actually kind of curious. Sp oh, sweet baby Jesus. I think that spleen says glitched out. I haven't fed her in like a week and a half. Look at her eyes, <laughs> jumbling all over the place. This is awful. Uh, she may be catatonic. I'm not really sure. She may have had a stroke. She, she appears to be breathing. Tonsils is just not even moving. The man family is back and everybody's outside having delicious flame cooked hot dogs. Except for Spleens, who is eagerly awaiting the deaths of her owners. LSD is of course orgasming in front of the television, and Tonsils is so high that he's literally floating after his best friend. Tommy, I'm depressed always, Weenus. I just wanted to mention too that this is probably the most angry, scowling, demonic appearance I have ever seen from this cat. 99% of the time, Tonsils looks like he gargles Elmer's glue in the morning. The other 1% of the time, he looks like he wants to feast on your organs. Christ, it's like a feline version of Jack Nicholson from The Shining. This is like the most magical image of spleens I've ever taken because she's in like mid jump. She's actually very acrobatic because if you notice one eye can look straight ahead where she wants to jump and the other eye can make sure that nothing is going to impact her from the side. Say she made it. Spleen's also likes to sit in between two different people because if you notice, her eyes are split so wide that she can look at both of them at the same time. Bethamphetamine has made it to the third degree. Run, Bethamphetamine. The only way to help yourself is to slather your body down in Bud Light. How you doing there, LSD? I'm burning alive. That's good. Do you have a stomachache, LSD? It's probably because you're swimming in the dead flesh particles of your recently deceased friend. She's like, God, it tastes like Popeye's chicken and bad choices in here. I forgot to mention to everyone, I made spleens and tonsils, vampires as well. I never thought that he would burn like this though. I don't even know if he can die or if he'll just look like a flaming death cat. I mean, like a flaming death cat with a really low IQ. Tonsils, tonsils, how you doing, buddy? You're uh... You're on fire, brother. He honestly doesn't look that concerned. The only concerning thing is that his left eye is trying to do a 360 inside of the socket. You know, I wish I knew what it was like to not feel like my skin was turning into mashed potatoes. Every once in a while, I pause the game and I find spleens looking extra majestic. You know how some people are double jointed? Spleens is like that, but only in her eyes. Never mind, apparently Tonsil is double jointed in his eyes too. I had no idea they were both like this. Every time Spleens leaves, she ends up getting pregnant, and I have no doubt that that may occur this time. I don't think that it's Tonsil's getting her pregnant, because I honestly don't think that Tonsil's can, like, see clear enough to get it in. There's nothing like putting a toilet right next to the pool and a full of bar. Yeah, don't mind her. Every once in a while, Spleens likes to yodel at the stairs. Oh god, the demonic possession has finally begun to overtake my cat. I always love that Spleens looks like she's completely asleep. She's not. What in the hell are you wearing? Oh, this is cute. Everyone's actually eating together over here at the table. See, it's hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs, and cocaine. Rotting, floating hot dogs. I will say, LSD, your frostbitten skin really brings out the vibrancy of your pink hair. My fro shall protect me. That's right, LSD. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Forever. Bad news, everyone. 
LSD has died. Oh, wait, hold on. All the cocaine's kicking in. She's back. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with this face. <laughs> As usual, one of Tonsil's eyes is attempting to look up Bab Ross's towel. Spleens is on a leisurely stroll looking for discarded drugs around the property. Clearly after robbing my grandmother of her bedroom and drapes, he decided to make a pair of pants out of them. It's pretty rare, but every once in a while you can catch Spleens immediately after she ingests 400 kilograms of methamphetamine. People will be like, where is she storing it all? It's all in her ears. Hey! The water must be very impregnating outside of this house. Apparently one of my rats just released a book. The Life and Times of Cholera. <laughs> oh, it's on the bestsellers list. The cages are starting to smell like roasted ass. Australian man isn't feeling too good. He's feeling fuzzy. Meanwhile, Spleens is over here and she's like, man, this yellow water tastes so weird. How could you be depressed when you have a face like Colin O. Colin wants to make the big money on YouTube. He's doing toy reviews. Colin's like, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy here, Colonoscopy, coming at you with a brand new toy review on this squishy that looks a lot like Spleens. Spleens is over here like, I've never seen my owner so happy before. It would be a shame if they suddenly died. Yes, good Spleens. Ruin her life with your dutiful gaze. Florida man is gaining happiness playing The Sims. He's a Sim playing The Sims while I play The Sims. Everything you need is right here. You need to use the bathroom? There's a pool. Hey, Beth Amphetamine, no one set anything on fire recently. You wanna go ahead and change that? I know you do. I've had him here watching comedies non-stop. I've had everyone watching comedies non-stop. And it's finally happened. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> That's what you get. While Tonsil's over here plays in a pile of trash. What the hell is his fate? Oh, sweet Jesus. It's like a cursed image come true. Real quick. Onla just aged up. She's got the exact same eyes as Spleens. <laughs> Spleens is like, that's my daughter. She takes after me. And thus today, much like a steamed crab, the Sims will once again regret the day that they were born. As usual, Spleens' eyes have refused to see one another anymore. And as such, her gigantic field of vision is able to watch on in horror as her owners slowly bake. Jesus Christ. The ambient air temperature just burnt my fruitcake. Oh God, the heat has already given Spleens a slight stroke. Oh, wait, her medicine kicked in. She's fine now. Bab, what in the holy hell are you wearing? What is this, your Sherlock Holmes cosplay? You can't have an upstairs fun patio without a full of kebab. What are you making there, Bab? Banana kebabs? And so today, with this glorious mansion behind me, we will find out exactly who is the tastiest of all Sims. Yeah, that's right. Nurture your future murderers. That's actually an extra layer of sickness because like, I'm making them take care of the things that are going to kill them. What are all those things growing in the backyard? Did you just headbutt Bab Ross? It's just weird because I'm used to seeing her in unicorn garbs. What the hell? What the hell was that? What just happened? Oh, that's right. I forgot I made you a psychopath. What the hell? <laughs> what the Jesus is going on over here? Bab Ross, what the? You just broke down like a kiss. <laughs> it's like a dollhouse. And she just beat the hell out of it. Bab, I just realized you may have mental issues that I didn't create in this game. Ah, the cow plants are maturing nicely. My little army of Sim Slayers. So cute, so adorable, so sadistic. Yeah. Tonsils, are you, are you eating a burger off the table? I'm not gonna lie, when Colin O does this, he looks like Jack Nicholson as the Joker. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Colin O, you've been eating popcorn for the last seven hours. Do you have any other interests, you failure? Is that a Jaws mug? That is incredible. Rise. My legion of sim slayers. Oh, you're more beautiful than I could have possibly imagined. You will go forth and turn my sims into delicious protein shakes. Australian man. Look at that cake right there. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe you'd like to have a bite, huh? 
Yeah, I just bet you would. Well, yeah, go ahead and grab it. What's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> That's what you get. First one's free. Hawk of Mac. <laughs> it's your favorite Bud Light flavored cake. Why don't you have a taste? What are you? What are you doing? Are you about to drink Australian man's leavings? Oh my God. The mysterious fluid, the essence of sadness. That is the very, that is the very heart of everything I do to the Sims. That's glorious. <laughs> it's actually called Australian's essence of sadness. Here, go ahead. Yeah, down the hatch. What's it taste like? Does it taste like liquid depression? <laughs> I love drinking other people. Florida man, where the hell did you get all this energy from? You're playing basketball with your glasses on in your in your belly shirt. Oh god. Ah. The flavorful taste of colon. Babros was mostly randomly generated. I decided to pretty her up a bit. And this is what we got. She's actually a lot like Bob Ross if Bob Ross had drank drain cleaner for like 11 years. Obviously, Spleens is here looking for felonies to commit, and Tonsils is here wondering why he was born in the first place. Every once in a while, I pause on Bob Ross's face, and I believe I can see the devil. LSD is over here. She's having a fascinating conversation with Bab. She's like, you know what would be cool? If flies didn't have sex anymore. And Bab is like, it's so weird. The citrus scented Drano doesn't taste like citrus. It's like false advertising. I like how right now all of my Sims are crowding around the TV, but Tim Horton is only getting an excellent view of LSD's ass. Look at Tim Horton. He's like, I wonder if she'll figure out that she needs to freaking move. Hey, LSD, maybe you could move. Well, I guess not. Hey guys, guess what? Spleens is awake. You can always tell when Spleens wakes up because holy Jesus Christ, what happened here? Oh, well, now I guess I know how Spleens is able to look in like a 240 degree arc. There's nothing between her ears. Is anyone gonna take care of that? Is anyone gonna take care of that? No one's gonna take care of that. That is a beautiful song you have, Spleens. So you can wash the dishes in the bathroom sink, can you? Clearly I need to get rid of this as well. So real quick, y'all wanna, you wanna see something? Bab Ross and LSD have melded into one sloth-like individual. <laughs> this character right here, I want it. The freaking toilet is almost urinating on her head. Australia man's like, oh man, I just got done using the toilet. Oh my God, there's a dead body. Smells like ass. Oh my god, the freaking levitating death food bowls are growing. Look at how many of them are just levitating in the air. <laughs> Colin's over here eating and spleen just like, yes, my child. Good. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to mention that Australian man just decided to pop up randomly so he could clean the grid. <laughs> He's literally laying in a puddle of urine and or broken toilet water. Florida man, incoming text message. Let's go to the flea market. Yeah, while you're over there, maybe you could pick up something to eat, you poor bastard. Also, I had no idea, but Claire Danes loves pudding is freaking ripped. Australian man is the only man who would use a drone to lift up a cafe chair while he fished with a beer koozie holder in the chair in the middle of the ocean. That right there will put you in Florida man's good graces. As always, the adorable Spleens is on the hunt for delicious cocaine, and Tonsils more than likely is having an aneurysm. I like how Spleens is all rolling up in Florida man's business. <laughs> Look at her just standing there. She's like, are you smelling him? That's all. <laughs> God, the scent was enough to make her right eye derp even more to the side than normal. Oh, you like that sink there? Tim Horton? Ooh, too goddamn bad. You can wash your hands on Tonsil's fur. This is absolutely adorable. I mean, it's a little less adorable when you see Tonsil's face, but you know what I mean. Okay, real quick. It's like I pissed her off so much that her eye is about to jettison from her skull. Spleens is running away. 
It didn't take long. I know she's gonna come back pregnant. Australian man made a veggie burger. What? Tim Horton and LSD tried to communicate with one another. Hold your horses from unsuccessful romance with an unflirty sim. I totally forgot. Tim Horton hates romance. <laughs> Will you stop giving birth to more rancid hamburgers, please? Yeah, eat your broken hot dog, you ho. How could you do this to me? You used to be the best. What the hell is that near you? What is what is that white what is that white goo all over the floor? You know what? I don't want to know. Wow. <laughs> She acquired the violin skill. I really wish she hadn't. This is what level two sounds like. This <laughs> please is gonna talk about how disparate. Oh, hold on. Open your eyes, spleens. When her ears hang down, she looks even more like a troglodyte alien being. Hey, tonsils, what the hell are you doing? Why are you why are you like chilling out on top of the top of the end table? You gonna eat those burgers, or are you just gonna use them to perfume you? While, while Spleen's over here shoots her healing love hearts over, oh, I forgot my pants, gets to be the victor, and he's so tearful about it, too. He's like, oh, that bitch is finally dead. It took forever, but now I'm the king of the universe. <laughs> Enemies demise. The death of a loved one can be dramatic, but the death of an enemy brings nothing but happiness. Sims can laugh at a tombstone to feel at peace. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with sad spleens. This is one spleens the cat. This is two spleens the cat. This is five spleens the cat. This is 18 spleens the cat. Apparently one of my spleens also smells like fecal material. That's very unfortunate. I like how all of the spleens are singing to T-Rex simultaneously. They're like, God damn it, listen to the song of our people. Where are you going? Get your ass back here. Damn, that's savage. He straight up took T-Rex's spot. <laughs> this one's just yelling at the statue. She's like, who is this interloper? God, people can't even sleep. This poor Sim is in bed just trying to rest and there's like six spleens in here just yelling at him. These two spleens are actually giving it to him from both sides of the bed. Third one just joined in. That's all. You thought you could sleep on our dime, you bastard. We will meow all night long. Spleens is running away. Which one? There's like 18 of them. T-Rex is like, maybe I could get away on the couch. <laughs> They're even assaulting him here. He's like, Jesus, I've only slept for about 30 seconds. And the first one in the room is tonsils. Oh. By the way, that's what tonsil sounds like. <laughs> God, what an adorable creature. Hey, can you watch out? You're getting your tears all over spleens. Actually, you know what? Keep crying. This is probably the only bath that spleens has gotten since she's been here. Clearly, we're missing a few more spleenses. There's like a uh, little procession coming in here of them. I like how I'm seriously just reached level three in fitness, even though she's dead. Like she's in the pool dead and she just reached a new level of fitness. Her, her child over here is bathing right next to her dead body. <laughs> That's so twisted. Okay, I just saw something happen. Jimmy Mumps is now swimming in the same pool as her dead body. <laughs> God. If there's one thing that Spleens loves, it's a full liquor bar. You know, Jimmy, when I was your age, I used to get in the pool with dead bodies myself. There's nothing to be ashamed of, son. This is the first friend I've ever had. I'm gonna kick this ball just like my former family kicked me out of the house. Jimmy is back home from school. No need to make room on the refrigerator door. His work is merely satisfactory. Jimmy went to school in his friggin' boxers. He didn't even get dressed. You know what would help you score better on those tests? Opening your eyes. It's like the Clint Eastwood of little children. Jimmy, you smell like four-year-old tuna. Get your ass back inside of the house. One more C minus on a test and you're out of the family. The pool is just surrounded by piles of fecal material. Spleens has been tearing this whole area up. Oh, God. Oh, T-Rex just stepped in it. Every once in a while, 
I pause the game and I find Spleens looking his most demonic. This is that time. Florida man is like, I wonder what Spleens is thinking. Spleens is like, I love cocaine. I got bad news, everyone. One of the Spleens had a stroke. Half of his face is constantly drooping now. His eyelid is closed on one side. I gotta see it move. Oh god! <laughs> it's a fall. Is this a goddamn plant growing inside of all of the crap? I mean, I, I guess let's water it. <laughs> he's so sad right now that this is probably what he wants. Look at this. He's mourning. He's desolate, and he's in the presence of death. And by in the presence of death, he is basically kicking Karen in the ass while he's swimming. Well, everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with this face of tonsils. This is a pretty good indicator of exactly what The Sims has become. Please meet Jimmy Mumps. Jimmy Mumps is an adorable juvenile uh, whose parents put him up for adoption for completely unknown reasons. Take an angry poop. <laughs> so Karen is over here painting an angry picture. She's painting the freaking house burning down. Spleens has decided to give everyone a fantastic look at her crotch. I like how I give my Sims a gigantic mansion with like five queen beds and a hundred other places that they could sleep. And Florida man has chosen the most cramped, ridiculous place to sleep. It's just like a bench made of stone and hard wood. This guy is like, oh, it reminds me of all the times I was kicked out by my wife. Well, it wasn't long before no, toxic God, ass please, waste no, started no, spewing out of the toilet. No. Welcome to The no. Sims. The fact that she hasn't exploded yet is, is blowing my mind. Oh my God, <laughs> she can't. You little hoe. Damn you, Disney just got whacked by lightning. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Damn you, Disney. The very first one to go. See that smile on her face? is because she knows she finally gets to leave this place. Florida man, you wrestle gators with your soul patch. You shouldn't have a problem with this. Not cooking go- <gasps> No! Really, you're gonna bring your hamburger right over by the dead Florida man and eat it right next to his body? <laughs> that may have been a hot dog, I'm sorry. My, it's still wrong of you to do. She's gonna leave it there for him. She's like, here's an offering for Florida man. He would have wanted it this way. <laughs> Spleens is running away. You ungrateful bastard. And so today, we will build a thousand miles of staircases and then see which sim can manage to navigate it to get to the end where they will live a glorious life of not dying. I also want to mention that damn you Disney wasn't born with breasts that, you know, want to punch her in the chin. I just had to do that because I thought it looked funny. Are you really gonna jump in the three foot pool? <laughs> She's having such a great time. She's like, if I stay in here, Gray can't kill me. Directions have no meaning in hell. Let me just see if the Sims can actually even navigate through the spaghetti of Satanism. Congratulations, you all get used double futons. There's no bathrooms. Pee on the stairs. There's plenty of stairs. You're all unfaithful. You're all married to one another, you sick bastards. You have to use it right next to the beds though. In fact, you have to face the people in bed. Can I surround these in here? Is there like a way for me to... Ah, oh, right over here. Here we go. Perfect. Hold on, everyone. Don't worry. It's possible, damn you, Disney's breasts will cushion her fall. They did not. In today's news, a psychopathic YouTuber tortures Sims once again. Is this an incoming text from a dead person? <laughs> from damn you, Disney. <laughs> it's ladies night. <laughs> That's right, go get you some. There's also some delicious burgers marinated in urine. Hey! Hey, don't die right in the middle of a conversation! That's rude! Is Florida Man, like, sniffing her hair? My money is always on Florida Man because we all know that he has slain countless pelicans. God, I can't go two minutes without Sims trying to have sex with one another. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, Florida Man, it's perfect! <laughs> Start running, you bastards! It's beautiful. Everyone's running in sequence. Florida man almost got his giblets taken out. 
Okay. There's a few things I have to mention here. First off, this is kind of an amazing shot. <laughs> right here. But secondly, in the background, this Florida man is naked taking a bath. You didn't know the law of beards. The smaller beard must always yield the right of way to the larger beard. Florida man, I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you smell like burning rectum. Listen, there's a bunch of Sims trying to sleep. Could you please cry somewhere else? Yes, cry inside of the wardrobe. <laughs> you can hear the echoed cries of sadness. Glad to see someone's frigging cleaning up. You get those plates, Grandma Thickerella. For some reason, Florida man is dropping an engine block in the toilet while Bill Cosplay is sitting here staring at him and a rotten hot dog lays at the feet of Florida Man. Florida Man is a vegan now in his later lifestyle. Bud Light is technically vegan, so he can still drink that, even though her breasts are kind of like, you know, almost to her belly button. No! Why, God? How unfair are you? to take such a wonderful young man <laughs> from our craziness. Florida man, you did me so proud. You even wore the Florida shirt all the way up until whoa, your inevitable whoa. demise. He's like, my only regret is not being able to bang everyone in the house. This is it, the last four. Don't they look absolutely thrilled to be here? I can't tell if he's had enough of this shit or if he's high or what. You got Jamie over here practicing shiatsu or something. Hey, this is like a friggin' math test. No talking. Oh yeah, look at the renewed energy Tim Horton has now that he's ultra pissed. This guy is thinking about boxing gloves because he's like, Jesus, I'd like to punch Gray in the chiclets so hard. Bill Cosplay! He didn't have any body, he didn't have any meat on his body left to- Where the hell did he go? Bill? Bill? Where'd you go, Bill? Did Bill Cosplay just disappear into the nether realm? What the hell happened? What, did he go to prison? Well, Bill Cosplay is the winner, but he vanished into thin air. So I guess I don't have to give him his prize. Once again, this seems like a completely appropriate image for the true nature of the Sims. You know it's a bad day when you're in the bathroom and you're outnumbered by ghosts. I feel really bad. You know you're a terrible person when you can depress ghost sims. The sim is like, I don't get any peace in life. I don't get any peace in death. This family is making the ghosts do everything. They're doing all the cooking. They're doing all the cleaning. How the hell do you cut yourself? You're already dead. You wish you put on some freaking pants now? A ghost just got struck by lightning. A ghost got struck by lightning. Where have we gone at this point? <laughs> okay, now the ghost of a sim is showering outside naked. <laughs> this dude's like, I don't know if I should be aroused by this or not. I was about to mention how I felt like this is inappropriate wear for dinner, but she's at the dining table with two ghosts while another ghost cleans up the bathroom and a third ghost makes dinner. So, you know what, sims do whatever you want. <laughs> I never really thought about this, because I never intentionally tried to look up Florida Man's towel. He's not actually wearing a towel. He's wearing a marshmallow. It's just a solid piece of white that his legs pop through. <laughs> if I send this girl outside to shower in the rain, what do you think the chances are she gets struck by lightning and dies? All right, three minute shower, go. Florida Man having some Fruit Loops. Is that ghost naked? Well, Florida Man won. Sort of. Please don't get electrocuted because that's gonna take all the fun away from your inevitable future death. All right, so with this, they should all begin running into, did you just slip and fall on your face? Or what the hell was that? They're all just running into one of the decks. Kind of funny, I need to watch this. <laughs> How you doing there, Florida man? Kill me. Don't worry, YouTube. They're just sleeping. Damn, homeboy's ripped. <laughs> this statue is like, I'm gonna be on the lookout for unwanted pregnancies. Normally I wouldn't specifically follow you into the bathroom, good sir. This is for the purposes of testing. This girl just refuses to put on any clothes. The fire is behind 600 walls, what the hell is going on? 
What can I say? At least I have you that far. Never mind. <laughs> is also the dude who made it. From this position, I realized two things. One, this lady has permanent Karen face, and two, this lady has G-cup breasts. Glad to see the neighbors are coming over today. There's a lot of chiropractic problems in this neighborhood. Don't judge them. <laughs> Part of me really wants to make this shot the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> Hey, don't wave those things around too much, man. You're gonna get charged with using a deadly weapon against other sims. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I would ever accept a fruitcake from someone who looks like this. I don't know, maybe you should. There's probably like $4,000 worth of cocaine in that thing. Uh, that's... Okay. When you're in fear, you have to keep those anus muscles real tight. <laughs> I'd like to see someone finally attempt to use the grill and possibly start a fire, but I have a feeling if someone like this woman did it, she would probably set her breasts on fire. It's like the front row of a Kid Rock concert. They're still out here cheering. Oh no, Madam Giant Jugs, get back inside the house or you're sure to be next. I like how Stephanie was like, hold on, Gray, I need to put on my German tourist glasses before I do this. I'm also kind of curious how she found another top that fits her. This toilet, it's like, how does it feel to be pissed on? Now you know the feeling. As the Sims meat cooks to a lovely well done. Two people hiding in the back of the stairs. Man, this fireplace throws out a lot of heat. <laughs> this guy is just sitting here staring intently at the fireplace. His legs are on fire, but somehow he is not being injured. I don't know how this is happening. Like these people are catching on fire from like eight feet away. This dude's totally fine. This lady's laying in the fire at this point. This guy's like, ah, that's pretty impressive of her. Wish I could sleep while on fire. But uh, we do have a few very brave Sims shooting their loads everywhere. I had never expected that this would be the way that I would end up killing all of my Sims, especially kids. What is she, what are you doing? It's like she can't even die correctly. <laughs> What the hell is this? What sort of mutant being am I looking at? It took me a second to realize what was going on here because this is so amazing. I think this is three people all treading inside the water at the same time because there's like a woman's face, a guy's body, and then a totally different guy's beard. <laughs> this individual is amazing. What? What are you? Whitley, what are you doing? What the hell? Florida man is sleeping in a tent, but Whitley has decided to increase her natural immune system by sleeping inside of a dumpster. What? What the hell? What the hell is this? What the hell happened to Spleens? Jesus Christ, she turned into Mr. Freeze from Batman. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Spleens looks like she has jaundice right now. She's like, I've had nothing to eat but sweet powder for the last 12 days. I like how she has like 50 different types of illnesses. Tonsils is totally fine. God, this is awful. I've got like an infection in my spleens. What? What the? What the hell is this? What is this? What is this? What in the hell happened in here? Everywhere I look, they're just sim asses. What? What? What is happening here? What the hell is this? What are you doing with this tentacle monster? <laughs> I didn't think that an adult could play with this. <laughs> what? in the Christ is happening over here. What the hell is this? LSD, I don't know what you did, but you're giving me a goddamn seizure. What is this? Did... What? There's no, there's no death notification. What the hell? Tim Horton just drowned and he didn't get anything. He didn't get death music. He didn't get death notification. He got nothing. What, what are you, what are you doing in the bathroom? Who are you talking to? Oh, oh, you're crazy. You ever, pause the sims and when you pause you're like what the hell did i pause on what is what what is this what is happening here i don't know if she's tongue gesturing or if she has a spatula down her throat let us never speak of this cursed image what the hell is that it's a goddamn garden gnome has anyone ever actually sat down and intentionally watched the films that the sims watch what the hell is going on here where the hell what where did you put this plate what what the hell is this when did you sims decide how to freaking defy physics this doesn't count you can't put the plate on nothing <laughs> what 
What in the hell? Oh, we're breaking all kinds of <laughs> now. At this point, the food is just levitating in the air. I love it. Is her freaking eyes glowing? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Why are you naked? <laughs> Did this turn into like a skinny dipping party? Ooh. What the hell? What is... What is this? Why was someone swimming in my grass? Death comes in. He's like, wait, Gray's killing people. How? Nope. Death shows up. He looks around. He surveys the situation. And he's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Later, bitch. What? Death? What are you, what are you doing, man? Oh, no. I didn't know that was possible. I thought it could just be the people of the family. Whoa, whoa, death. Get that tablet out of here, man. There ain't no electricity allowed. I like how death doesn't even appear inside of one of the houses. He's like, uh, I don't know which one to choose. Maybe I'll start from left to right. Where the hell have you been? What are you on freaking break? He's like, haven't you seen the pandemic that's going around? I'm not leaving the house later. Hey, death. What are you, um, what are you doing here? Did someone die and I, I wasn't privy to it? He's like, no, just thought I would save some gas. Get here before the death starts. I like how death appeared before this guy even died he was like there should be someone dead up oh, there it is he's like is this is this the right soul i don't know i've been reaving so many they're all starting to look the same ah uh, let's see here cause of death being in a gray still plays episode of the sims yep seems legit death is over here he's like great how the hell did you turn cooking into a freaking death sentence death comes rolling in he's like ah they must have added something new to the sims yep looks like a brand new murphy bed Meanwhile, Death can't even get inside. He's out here like, Jesus Christ, Gray, what have you done? Meanwhile, Death is completely bugged out. He's not reaping the corpse. He's just leaving it there. The only reason Death can deal with all this is because he makes sure to keep all of his potentially exposed bone particles covered and he uses SPF 50. I like how Death has like an upset stomach. He's like, this whole place smells like frozen moldy ass. Death is over here. He's like, all right, let's take a look at uh, some of Colono's vitals right before he died. I'm seeing a blood pressure here of 820 over 2010. Yeah, Death, that's what happens when your breakfast, lunch, and dinner is all just stimulants. Even Death is thinking about spleens. He's like, don't worry, spleens. You're the one character I would never kill. Spleens is like, no, Death, you don't understand. I'm the one character you can't kill. Why am I standing with each foot in a bowl of rotting sausage chunks? The Grim Reaper's like, God damn it, Gray, not again. Also, why is it 300 degrees in here? It reminds me of hell. Death is over here is like, man, it smells like boiled pot roast inside of this room. Hey, would you mind dying while I'm already here so I don't have to make another trip? That's right, Death. Go ahead and eat that rotting food. Florida man would have wanted it that way. While you're at it, you can have some delicious broiled ass in a mug. Death is in here. He's like, I just want to let y'all know while I'm reaping this soul that uh, everyone here smells like rotting garbage. Yeah, you should feel pretty, pretty bad about that. If I was you, I'd mix some deodorant in with your Cheerios because it may be the only way to not smell like ass. Whatcha? Death, I can't believe you're eating that. You're gonna get gonorrhea or something. Put that down. He's like, that was horrible. I'm gonna take another bite. Yep, just as bad as the first one. Death, where the hell have you been? Jesus, there's, it's like six people are dead. I got a shrub growing out of the cat crap. Where the hell has your ass been? He just peaced out. He didn't even take care of all the dead bodies. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Death, you're getting quick. Like, death was all over this one. He's like, yeah, no, Gray. Got you on speed dial at this point. Reaver soul. No, don't walk away from the soul. Oh my god, he's gonna do the other sim first, so he has to go down 700 flights of stairs. <laughs> Jesus, no. This is an unforeseen consequence of having 2,500 staircases. <laughs> hey, death, can we... Can we move this along? I've got a challenge here to complete with these people. Damn, Death comes in, takes one of my Sims, and takes one of my hot dogs too. Death is like, how many Sims has Grey killed this week? 
This book is getting really thick. Poor guy's probably getting carpal tunnel syndrome from all the paperwork he has to do back at the office. Death, can you please clean this mess up? For the love of God, thank you. Death is over here sitting down in front of the fire at this point. He's like, I gotta, I gotta rest my feet for a minute. Oh my god, I, I never thought about this. Does death have to go through the hallways as well? He can't just teleport through. Could you please stop getting all of your tears all over death? Actually, maybe this is what death uses for his laundry detergent. It's the tears of the Sims. Death, your work here is done. Get the hell out of my house. What, are you coming here to eat all my food? Take all my Hot Pockets? Seriously? Death is a total jackass. He's like, oh, there's nothing more I love more than burning some calories dancing after destroying the souls of some Sims. Whitley Ariaga. Whitley Ariaga. Whitley Ariaga. Whitley Ariaga. We do have a new member of the pain train today. Our touristy looking walking STD vaccine that won the last disease challenges here. Whitney Ariaga. What the hell was her name? Oh, it is Whitley. Ariaga Gaga Gaga Gaga. Ariaga Gaga just fell asleep. She's still alive. I'm not gonna lie to you. This female Mr. T over here with the feather earring and the mohawk is legit. She's like, I paid a fool who gets away to love. You can tell she doesn't take from anyone because she's wearing another girl's eyeball on her finger. I'm not gonna lie, this dude's look is legit. Time to let the chaos begin. 